Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to more Undertale. In the last episode, we had an explosive encounter with Metaton, and we got to meet a few new characters, and also had a battle with the Royal Guards. Anyway, in this episode, we're gonna go through another one of these cool-looking boss doors and see what lies ahead. Oh, another save point. What do we have? The smell of cobwebs smells the air. No determination, yeah, yeah. Spider entrance. We know there was a spider slayer up here. Wait a minute. We met a girl in the last episode who looked a lot like a spider. And she sells spider donuts and cider for a lot of money. Like the launch price of a PlayStation 4 for a freaking donut. I am dead serious. Anyway, let's hope she's in a good mood. <laughs> Did you hear what they just said? Uh, no. Apparently I don't speak spider. They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. Yeah. What about it? I heard that they hate spiders. Uh-oh. I heard they love to stomp on them. Oh, crap. And I'm starting to get sticky in these cobwebs. I hear that they like to tear their legs off. <laughs> Why the heck would I want to do that? I'm thinking that's a little taking a little too far. Anyway, I'm going really slow in these cobwebs here. I heard. Oh, hi. It's you again. That they're awfully stingy with their money. Uh-oh. <laughs> you think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Oh, great. We got another bit boss. Miss Muppet! I always wonder what happened to her after she sat in that tuff of eating her curds and whey and that spider scared her away. Apparently, she's grown attached to them now. Anyway, let's go ahead and check her first. Pay 10 gold? Why would I want to do that? Anyway, Miss Muffet. Attack is 38.8, defense is 18.8. And that kind of makes sense because spiders have eight legs, so they're making fun of that. If she invites you to her parlor, excuse yourself. Well, too late now. You look so blue, my dearie. Oh, whoa. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, crap. Oh, gosh. Oh. What the? I think purple has a better look on you. <laughs> oh, okay. So now I can switch tracks. And move left and right. So that's another new mechanic. So she's sort of like another boss, but most people consider her to be a mid-boss because she's got very low defense and attack, but whatever. Up next. What is that? I don't know. You're trapped in a strange purple web. Okay, by the way, I know what I need to do in order to get through this battle really quickly, but I'm gonna go through some of her attacks just to not make this battle 10 seconds. Okay, let's struggle our way out. You struggle to escape the web. Muppet covers your mouth and giggles at you. Why so pale? You should be proud. Oh. Okay, so they come from the different tracks. Okay, so that's easy. Oh God, boys! And more of them are coming up next. At least in this battle, you get to know what's coming up. Muffet does the synchronized dance of the other spiders. Struggle. Struggle to escape the web. Muffet laughs and claps her hands. All eight of them, or just two of them. Ah, that you're going to make a delicious cake. <laughs> uh, you don't sell cake, do you? You sell donuts and croissants. Oh, my God, boys! Oh, two of them. No. Smells like freshly baked cobwebs. Struggle. Struggle to escape the web. Muff is so amused by your antics that she gives you a discount. Let you go? Don't be silly. Oh, now double the spiders. Oh, crap. Oh, 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 haha. Oh, my God, boys! Up next, 
spires and a donut with them. Buffett pours you a cup of spires. Oh, pay five gold, so she gave me a five gold discount. Uh, sure, I'll take it. Pay five gold, and Buffett reduces her attack for this turn. Oh, okay, so that's what that does. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. Okay, this girl turned creepy after that nursery rhyme. Oh, they bounce around the walls. So, it's almost kind of hard to tell. A cupcake would have been this next. <clears throat> now it's just by 35. Let's struggle our way. Struggle to escape the lab, nothing happened. Oh, how weird of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. Okay, I think this is the last attack I'm going to show off because it's actually pretty menacing, and she does this, I think, three times during her attacks. Uh, and it's a giant cake monster. Who kind of looks like a spider. So you gotta climb your way up, avoiding the spiders. Ow. Well, he ties up the web around you. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get out my spider donut and hope and show her that I have bought something from her before. Or at least her spiders back in the ruins. You ate the spider donut. Your HP was maxed out. Huh? Where did you get that? I got it from a spider in the ruins. Did you steal it? No. I paid seven gold for that thing. Oh, my pet. It's time to show what we do with Thebes. Uh oh. Wait, what? Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins? What? They're saying that they saw you and you were really passionate about spiders? Oh my. This is all but a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul, he must have been a different human in a striped shirt. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime, and for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. Oh, crap. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, okay. I'll spare you now. Muffet is sparing you. Okay, then let's spare back. And we are done. That is it for Muffet. And of course, I don't receive gold. <laughs> that was fun. See you again, dearie. Okay, that was really creepy, but apparently I can move through the spiders freely now. The webs freely now. Man. A lot of people think that girl's really creepy anyway. It's a poster for Metaton's latest stage performance. Tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers, kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, bad human. What? What the? Could it be? He's wearing a dress? <laughs> My one true love. Okay. Ha! Gay! Oh, is he gonna sing? Oh, no. This is awkward. Oh, my love. Please run away. Monster King forbids your stay. Humans must live far apart, even if it breaks my heart. They'll put you in the dungeon it'll suck and then you'll die a lot really sad you're gonna die cry 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 so sad it's happening Oh, shooting star. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. 
Wow, toodles. Wait. Um. Uh, oh, where am I now? Is Rocket Flame is pink now? Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. Wait, I thought I was gonna go to the King's Dungeon, not yours. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh, it's the tile puzzle again! Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? More like ten episodes ago, but yeah. That's right. You remember all the rules, don't you? Great. Then I won't waste your time repeating them. Well, I might show a repeat of them in the in the video, but whatever. Oh, and you better hurry. Why? Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... Oh, crap. You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. Ha 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 My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Alright, let's go. Oh, my love has fallen down. How in tears we all will drown. Color tiles make them a fool. If only they still knew the rules. Well, that was a side Tuesday. Now let's watch them fry. Ah, oh, I didn't make it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Oh, and they come from the front, too. Here come the flames, darling. The flames of love and passion. No, I'm just kidding. They're closing in. Getting closer. Oh, my. Any minute now. Robotic cough. Heh. <laughs> Watch out. I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Wait, firewall? Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. Oh, no. How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. That's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Wait, isn't the lab Metaton's home? Puzzle over. Alvies, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? Oh yeah, they summon a sound that makes me fight a monster, but I didn't fight any. They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Oh, crap. Oh, great. I gotta fight him again? Oh, great. Metaton attacks. Don't need to check him. I already checked him in a, late, yell, in a earlier episode. Oh. Yell? You yell. Nothing happened. <coughs> Sorry. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey. <laughs> This seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed in your phone. You see that yellow button? You mean that big one right there? Go to the phone's act menu and press it. Your phone's act menu is glowing. Yellow? What the heck is that supposed to do? Press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Wait, what the? I are turned upside down. And turn yellow. Why? 
No press Z. Wait, why? Oh, I can move. Why should I press Z? Oh, I can shoot him! Oh, cool! Oh! Oh! You've defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. I knew he was faking. There's no way I could have defeated him in one hit. Whatever. <laughs> what a faker. Well, it looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks to you, dot dot dot. Well, I've pretty much gone through all these all thanks to you. What? Oh no, I mean, you are the one doing everything cool. Well, I couldn't have done them without you. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but... Can I tell you something? Before I met you, I d didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Aw, oh, don't feel that way. All nerds feel like that. Even me. Like I couldn't do anything without... without ang letting everyone down. But... Guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past the MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this! Alright, so we're almost to the core, sounds like. Then let's go. I'm pretty sure that tile puzzle is almost impossible. But I did make it pretty far. Uh, what's over here? Oh, that's the stage. Anyway, the ice cream man is here. Hey, it's you again! Business is excellent here! These two fellas bought all, all my ice cream! I actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I still got something for you. A big smile! How about that? How about no? Oh, hey. We're, like, taking a rain check on that killing thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. What's over here? Oh, hey, it's you again! The flame guy. Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Did you? Yes, I did. Heats Flamesman. What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? <laughs> anyway, I don't need to go in the elevator over there. That'll probably take me to an earlier floor. Oh, Sands. What's up? Hey, I heard you're going to the car. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Uh, sure, I'm in no hurry. Great, thanks for treating me. Wait, training you? I didn't offer to treat you. Over here. I know a shortcut. You know a lot of shortcuts in this place. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must be really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, buddy. So, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Well, I gotta get home to a human family back in a human village. I gotta go. Oh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So, I'm a sentry at Snowdead Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kinda boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. It's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. Wait, you mean the door of the ruins? That's the Toriel's house. So one day, I'm knocking about like usual. I knock at the door and say, knock knock. And suddenly, on the other side, I hear a woman's voice. You mean Toriel? Who is there? So naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dishes is a very bad joke. 
This is just howls of laughter. Like it's the best jokes he's heard in a hundred years. So I keep it coming. She keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? A uh, lady. Well, lady who? Oh, I didn't know you could yodel. Well, needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Everyone gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. <laughs> so you kind of act like the older brother in a case. But she told me to come by again, so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Tell bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up, and she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them, and protect them, will you not? No, I hate making promises. Who doesn't? And this woman, I don't even know her name. I can tell you, her name's Toriel. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has the integrity you can't say no to. And the music got quiet. You get what I'm saying? Sort of. I promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd brought me dead where you stand. Well, that was creepy. It makes me, some people are suspicious about Sans and his behavior. His behavior changes a lot in the genocide route, trust me. He hardly even appears there. Except for at the very end, but I'm not going to spoil what he does there. Hey, why not, bucko? I'm just joking with you. Oh, sure. Besides... Haven't I done a great job protecting you? Well, you've given me hot dogs and hot cats. I don't know if that counts. I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Uh, actually, I don't think I have. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Well, chalk it up to my great skills. Not exactly. Huh. <laughs> Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Someone really cares about you. Yeah, I think I might know who that might be. Uh, where did Sans even go? It's like a dead end over here. And there's this guy. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up. So I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off his ficus. It's monster logic, what are you gonna do? Anyway, who are you? Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, villain things whining and confusing, some awful tradition. Can't go two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. There's like a little mole right here. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, it was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. Anyway, that looks like a snow drake that I saw back in Snow Inn. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. There's this big fish guy. Blub blub. You'll have to reserve our table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Yeah, I get it. Anyway. Well, the fountain is meditating spewing onto the floor. 
And there's another save point here, and there's you. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment, building turn hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Prides itself on a lot of stuff. Anyway, let's go ahead and save. Relaxing atmosphere of this hotel. Fills you with determination. Of course, it does everything with determination, but anyway. Now that we're here at this hotel, I think we're going to end this off here. So, next time on Undertale, we're going to explore this hotel a little bit and then go to the core. See you guys then.